a warm welcome uh, to everyone uh, in this video i will try to explain the analysis of simple pendulum but that using a tracker software uh, this video is primarily intended for the students, so I will try to describe each point uh, more clearly as much needed. Uh, the simple pendulum, as we know, the dynamics of which uh, we have already studied, this tracker software, what it does is to auto track the motion of the simple pendulum and gives you the analysis, it gives you the result uh, very easily, the results of suppose X versus T, the position for one dimensional motion x versus t, vx versus t, the velocity along the x direction, or the phase plot like x versus vx, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, to start with, let me quickly recapitulate what we have learned so far for simple pendulum. For small angular displacement, for small uh, angular display, displacement, As we know that the equation of simple pendulum can be written as ml square d2 theta dt square plus mg l theta that is equal to zero where the quantities bear their usual significance like this m is the mass of the bob this l is the length of the string with which the bob is suspended, theta is the angular displacement and so on and so forth. So this equation upon simplification simply comes out to be d2 theta dt square plus omega square theta is equal to zero where omega is of course the angular displacement and uh, sorry the angular frequency and that is given by g by l. Uh, so uh, if we solve this uh, equation under small angular displacement approximation, then we can easily write the displacement along x direction is closely equal to theta t and that comes out to be a sine omega t plus alpha. Henceforth, the vx, the velocity comes out to be a omega cos omega t plus alpha so that from these two equations so that from these two equation now the x versus vx relation looks like x square by a square plus vx square divided by a square omega square is equal to 1 which is simply of the form of an ellipse this will verify with the tracker software as well and also will try to verify the theoretical expectation of the value of omega with the observed value of omega from the tracker software itself. In that similar manner, you can uh, uh, bring analogy to the different quantities, the different parameters associated with this analysis. So to start with, let me simply first go to the tracker software installation part and for that i have used the open source platform of github where you will get the installers for windows for mac for linux and everything simply click, clicking on this link of windows we will get the exe file executable file and the next installation process is pretty straightforward so i'm not going into the details of that you can do it on your own uh, if you if you now uh, open this tracker software it will look like a frame like this right now to work with this tracker software you first need a pre recorded video that i have already recorded for a simple pendulum for suppose 20 oscillations or so now i import that video It may take some time because it will uh, import the video frame by frame and there are lots of frames so it may take some time please bear with me yes yes now one caution i want to give you over here 
is that sometimes the video may get rotated while you try to import that uh, to your tracker software. Don't worry about that. I have deliberately chosen one such video to show you the next process. If your video is rotated, then you simply rotate your coordinate axis so that X and Y positions are now swapped so that the alignment remains proper. Uh, this is the button for setting the coordinate axis. This is the button. If you click on that, a X and Y axis simply comes up to your screen. Now you drag, you click on this and drag to rotate this so that X and Y axis are now properly set with your frame. You now zoom into the video so that you can easily locate your origin and put it at the required position from where the string is suspended. So this is the location where the string where from the string is suspended. Now what next we need uh, to specify is the length of the string with which or the length of the pendulum which, uh, that you call so that your analysis becomes correct. For that you click on this calibration tool button, click on new, cali uh, click on calibration step. Now by default this comes out to be 1 meter. In my case, the length of the string is 0.6 meter. So what I do, I simply click on this number and select it to put it on at 0.6 meter or 60 centimeter. Now zoom out. Just uh, I'm just uh, starting the video so that the bob is clearly visible. Yes, so this is my blob. Bob, now you set your calibration length just a minute the coordinate axis is somehow shifted oh, so this is the location now the calibration stick you put it over here one end you put it the other length other part other end to here so the now is now i have specified that the length of the string is 0.6 meter now i have to lock this coordinate system so that it does not get shifted while I run the auto tracking. For that, I click on this coordinate system and put, click on lock. So this is now locked, right? Now, I, what I have to do is to uh, specify the tracker software, the number of oscillations and from where I have to, I, I want to start and where I want to end. So for that, I play the video again and I count, suppose, 12 oscillations. Start from here, 1, 2, sorry, start from here. So start from here. So I click on the slider, right click, right click on the, on the slider and set start frame here. So you see the black button comes over here. Again, I start the video, 1, 2, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay more or less here right click again on the slider set it as end frame see this right hand side uh, black button comes over here now to start the auto tracking what you have to keep in mind that you fix your starting point starting frame over here that is your desired starting point right okay. start from here i specify start from here now i click on this track button new point mass okay now if you uh, have clicked on the point mass and now press control plus shift control plus shift you will find one circular uh, engagement which will, will which will help you to locate the bob at this point if you zoom in and then press control shift it might not be able to locate the entire bob in one frame so better to zoom out control shift and now locate the entire bob Yes, it has now located. Now you simply click on the search button. 
see the auto tracking has started and it is tracking the entire data it, it, it tracking the entire process entire motion and giving you the data and plot together on the right hand side frame so let, uh, so this slider will come and stop at this end position where you have specified see it has stopped here so this is our your analysis for the 12 oscillations right this is the x versus t you can change this is y but you can change it to your desired quantity i simply click on here and select vx so this is now vx versus t plot right now the next is the phase plot so i click on this plot and set the display to three plots right so this is my uh, uh, third plot i click on this x axis level and set it to suppose vx so this is x versus vx now see as desired this is in a elliptical shape right but here you see the data table shows t versus x versus y versus y do not worry about that click on columns remove y and include vx so here now the data table shows t x vx click on double click on this data table right click copy selected cell full precision now you open your excel because this the data might have to be saved in a excel format for further verification so i click on excel and i simply con do control v so that x t x v x data are now here as we all know we can uh, now go for excel plotting so i select the entire suppose whatever you want to plot i select the entire x versus vx data i click on insert i click on this chart suppose this is the scatter plot i plot with point and curve so this is the excel plot which comes similar to what we have seen in my tracker plot you can select the design you can select the axis uh, data, uh, data data shown that way the data is uh, shown I change it to scientific to general number again for this I change to scientific to uh, number otherwise it was uh, showing a bit clumsy so this is the same plot now suppose but there's one difference with the tracker one that, that in this case uh, the x data is in the is along the x axis and vx data is along the y axis however in tracker plot it is it was like x in the y axis vx along the x axis so in one way you just rotate it suppose here uh, i click on this as vx i click on this as x so it is now uh, x versus vx and matches with uh, what is shown in the excel plotting or in the excel you can also swap the x and y axis you can play with play around with this um, excel plot uh, so this is the entire process now one thing which is left is the uh, analysis or finding the value of omega the observed value of omega the angular frequency from the analyzer from this tracker software for that you just click double click on this plot so here the x versus t plot is zoomed in now you click on analysis analyze you click on curve feeder now just fourth semester students at least the fourth semester students uh, know, know very well what we mean by curve feeder it, it will give you the associated parameters the coefficients the values of the coefficients if we fit with the proper functional form this plot looks like a sinusoidal plot so i fit with the sine curve so the the general form of a sine function is like uh, x of t that is a sine b t plus c plus some d this is the generalized form right of a sine function now see if you match with this with this x of t formula that we have uh, obtained previously the the quantity that is multiplied with this time t 
that will be identified as the angular frequency omega. So here, in my case, the B quantity will be associated or analogous to the angular frequency omega. Let me go to the tracker one. See, this A sine BT plus C plus D. So B, the value of B comes out to be 4.03 radian per second. 4.03 radian per second. And in my case, and in my case, omega, which was which omega which was like square root g by l and value of g which was uh, 980 divided by 60 length of the string was 60 centimeter this comes out to be 4.04 4.04 radian per second second this is my theoretical this is my theoretical approximation and the observed uh, value was omega close to 4.03 4.03 radian per second so we can very well say that my tracker software is working very fine and it is giving me a value of omega to be very closely associated with the experimental observation so here i stop thank you everyone for listening and in case you, if you have any question please uh, put it in the comment box i'll try to answer them series uh, series thank you so much